Hi, my name is Bella, and I'm an art mentor at the California Family Life Center. Hi, my name is Savannah. And today we are doing an art lesson called Paper Faces. Paper Faces is an art lesson where we draw a face. It can be your own or someone else's. It just has to have a dramatic expression. And then we're going to use collage paper to collage the face. And collaging is when you tear or cut pieces of paper to create a new pattern. The materials that you'll be needing today are a piece of paper to draw on, markers, a hole punch, a glue stick, and some recycled paper. To start, we are going to draw the face. And I'm going to start with my eye. I'll be starting with the face shape. And you want to think about the expression that your face is going to have. Is your face happy, sad, angry, things like that. You could also think about giving your face some facial hair, like sideburns or um, a mustache. Eyes now. Alright, so I think that my face is going to be kind of worried. And it doesn't have to be perfect, it can be kind of abstracted. You could also think about using your marker to go back in and thicken up some of the lines to increase the line quality if you think it's too thin. You can also go back with different colors. Like I'm going to grab this blue and I'm just going to follow some of my lines to accentuate some of them. And uh, once you guys are done drawing your face, we are going to start collaging. So, Savannah and I have uh, ones that we've already started to collage. No, we don't have a piece of paper to... Okay, and so... You want to make sure to have a piece of paper to use when you're gluing down. And we're just going to tear off small pieces of paper. And we're using um, old maps, we're using newspaper, we're using um, any kind of recycled paper that you can find. Or if it's old wrapping paper, book pages, anything with a cool texture or a design that you like will work perfect. So I'm going to use this map and I'm just going to put it right up against my line like this so that you can still see your drawing and that the line is still exposed. And we need to use a separate piece of paper to glue our pieces on so we don't get glue onto our artwork or on the table. I'm going to just use tissue paper and I'm going to be layering my pieces over each other, I'm going to be tearing them and seeing which pieces fit together, kind of like your own little puzzle pieces. I'm just adding some pieces of paper around the face. Some on the side of the nose. Newspaper. Oh, I think I'll probably add some to under the eye as well. It's a little blue. Okay. Um, I could continue collaging from here, but our good friend Jerome's going to come in and show you guys some more collaging techniques.
so you guys can also take any piece of paper. I'm going to be taking a uh, blue paper and tear a piece off. And you guys can use the hole punch. And y'all can hole punch wherever you want. You can hole punch in the middle, the sides, however you think it will look cool. And y'all can glue it wherever you want. I'm about to glue it right here next to the chin. I'm doing the same thing. I'm hole punching and then I'm gonna layer it on top of other pieces so that the bottom pieces of paper show through. You guys can also layer over your first layer with, with hole punch if you want to. And that will look pretty cool. So like, I'm going to layer right here next to the, the, the face, the sideburns. I'm tearing off more map pages. And I'm going to start working on this side of the face. You guys can also use long strips for the hair, sideburns, and eyebrows. Like, I'm gonna take a blue piece of paper for my hair, and I'm going to be the same color. I'm gonna use different color hair for mine. I'm gonna tear some long strips as well for my hair. You guys can also use the holes that you punched out earlier and y'all can use the dots to make a cool little pattern and it makes it for me it makes it easier if you put a glue a pal and you can open and drop and make a cool little pattern out of the dots you punched out you can also go back and uh, if you decide to thicken up some of your lines once you've added your collage paper like I'm going to do and this just creates different line qualities. Right now I'm turning long shirt from my eyebrows. keep working on my hair that's kind of flowing over the face. And I'm using um, some paper that used to be an old tea bag and I love the colors and the designs and I think it's going to work great. I'm going to leave this portion of the face blank. You don't have to completely fill in your face. You can leave um, however much negative space you'd like. A negative space is just the white of your paper and no uh, collage paper or marker. Okay, so Jerome and I could keep filling in our face with collage paper uh, until we have as much as we'd like, but uh, we have some finished paper faces that we can show you right now. Okay, so this is my finished paper face, and I have some long flowing hair on the side, and then on this side I have some paper that's kind of floating right out of the lines. Uh, I also used some old sewing pattern paper to layer on top of my other pieces, and I kept a lot of this side of the face uh, with negative space. I also used long strips for my hair. I used different color shirts for different color hair and I use um, hole punch the layer over my first layer. And if you look behind us, there are some other finished examples of paper faces that other CFLC kids and mentors completed. Uh, there's also some books that I would like to recommend for inspiration. This book called Joseph Had a Little Overcoat by Sims Tabak. He um, used lots of bright colors and patterns in his illustrations. And if you look closely in the back, you can see that he cut out these little faces that poke out of the windows and it looks super cool. So I highly recommend this book. 
I also recommend uh, an artist named Gustav Klimt. And like this book says, he uses silver, gold, and precious stones in his paintings. In this painting, you can see the gold and stones that he incorporated in the background, which create this beautiful mosaic look. So I highly recommend them uh, for more inspiration. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, Jerome and I made a huge mess hey, with our- Hey, it's time to clean up. Thank you, Savannah. Thank you. Everybody keep collaging. Oh, what's going on? <laughs>